We're at the Commodity Classic Show in Houston, Texas. Houston is also known to NASA's Mission Control Center. And John Deere has got not only one, but two product launches just for you. We have been allowed in early to the preview of the show as the team put the final touches to this massive stand. In a moment, I'm going to be sharing news with you on our brand new S7 digital combines, which are going to revolutionize harvesting. And John Deere once again proves it's number one. I will share with you incredible news on the new Nano X that make it the world's most powerful production tractor. First, the S7. Let's take a look at these combines in testing in France last year. Stunning design, incredible technology, and a new level of operator comfort. But you don't have to take my word for it. Here's James Street in with the highlights. This is the new S7. There are four models in the S7 range, exactly like the current S series. The S7 is packed full of technology. We have the integrated Starfire 7500 with AutoTrack, with DataSync, and with JD Link connectivity, all in base. The S7 was developed around customer requirements. First, best in class operator comfort. Second, efficiency. And third, to deliver exceptional grain quality and quantity. First up, where operators spend most of their time, the cab. Fantastic visibility onto the feeder house and the header through the floor to ceiling glass. Plus a new operator seat and more, all taking comfort to a new level. There's the new G5 Plus command center with an expansive screen and new corner post display. These new screens are high definition with sharp graphics, creating a real feeling of quality and an immersive experience for the operator. All of this is enabled by an all new digital architecture, which has also been updated on the S7 Combine. This digital update with super fast capabilities of seamlessly processing and transferring data has also been foundational for the introduction of all new technology to the S7 Combine. It doesn't stop there, it gets even better. With the S7, we looked at how we could provide breakthrough value and experiences to you in your field using technology-focused innovation and development. With the new S7 comes a whole new suite of automation. First, we have Harvest Settings Automation. It lets you choose from three different limit settings. Loss limit, broken grain limit, or material other than grain, MOG limit. Then once these limits are set, the combine in the background makes adjustments and optimizes itself to ensure these limits that you set as the operator are not exceeded. 
Next, we have predictive ground speed automation, where we have two cameras that scan the crop well in front of the combine header, and then regulate the combine's forward speed based on the upcoming crop. These two pieces of technology combined together remove the requirement for you as an operator to continually make adjustments and optimize your combine, ensuring the maximum quality of crop harvested is brought back to the farm. Also, the full installed capacity of your combine can be realized every hour of your harvest. With the new S7 combine, we looked at what's the best blend of performance and efficiency. First, what we've done is taken the JD14X engine, which is known engine technology from our X9, and put that into the top three models of the new S7, where we lower the max rated speed of the engine. Second, what we've also done is bring over the residue management package from the X9 to the new S7, even adopting the XL chopper knives, driving more efficiency and power saving from this combine harvester. These two things combined is what we call harvest motion. And finally, let's talk about one of the many strengths of the S7 combine, the well-proven three-section single rotor generating high grain separation, gentle threshing, and multi-crop performance. This is the S7, one combine, all crops. I imagine this is getting a lot of interest at Commodity Classic Show. We cannot wait to get the S7 into the field and really demonstrate the value that this combine can deliver to you. Industry-leading technology, efficient performance, extraordinary operator comfort. This is a combine which has it all. This is a new era of combine automation. This is the John Deere S7 Combine. Thank you, James. Jason, the S-Series, or now as we know it, the S7. It's one of the world's favorite combines, but what makes it so popular? It's uh, built on you know, the S700 legacy and its predecessors. It's world known for you know, customer value in terms of productivity, versatility, and leads the market also in multi-crop capability. It's absolutely stacked with technology. The features sound great, but what does it actually mean for the customer? If you think about you know, how this impacts a customer, we really make their life very easy, you know, all the way from the very start when they start with pushing a work plan through an op center to taking the machine into the harvest. But probably the key value is when they get into that harvest, no longer do they have to optimize the machine by adjusting the settings to get their output. They can go straight to the output and dial in either the broken grain, the losses, the FM or the, or the grain quality uh, to get their job output. Talking about the job quality and productivity, it's more and more important for our customers to be able to get the harvest in as quick as possible without sacrificing that, that quality, as you say. Also new engines and a new residue management system. Yep, absolutely, let's go take a look at them. And I guess this all leads to efficiency gains? It does, so if you look at the JD14X engine we have in the top three models of the S7, you know, we take that straight from the X9, which is a proven efficiency leader in the market. There's some great features in that new cab. So if you think about the heated air conditioned massaging seat, you know, in the signature series, um, that makes it really nice for those long harvest days. You know, some of those long harvest nights, you also have the ultimate light package, which really turns nighttime into day. Sounds like sky high comfort at ground level harvesting. Lastly, you can't forget the G5, right? I mean, that dis new display is awesome. It gives you a lot more area to view the harvest data, see what's going on in your operation, um, and really keep track of, you know, the productivity that machine produces. Jason, final question. What do you think is gonna get our customers really excited about the new S7? I think without a doubt, that'd be the predictive ground speed automation. You know, the combination of using the cameras and the satellite views to predict what's out in front of the machine, to react and keep the maximum productivity throughout the course of the day, gets more hectares harvested. The future of harvesting is here. Absolutely. Thank you, Jason. You're welcome. Now it's over to Marcus with our other big news of the day. Thanks, Jonathan. And we have another hugely important launch. With 769 hectares, our current top model, 900X640, set in 2023 the 24 hours tillage world record. It positioned once more John Deere as the leading manufacturer for tractors. 
Today, we will introduce three additional high horsepower Niner X models that will quite literally transform people's view of John Deere. Wow, you can almost feel the power and how it will truly boost your daily hectares output. The design of the three additional 9RX models is also completely different to the current ones. Let's hear about the key differences from our very own frontiersman and tractor scout, Michael Müller. Howdy partner, welcome to meet the new 9RX. This model, the 9RX830, is the world's most powerful production tractor with a maximum power of 913 HP. Although it shares the same name as the current models, it's a completely different design with more than 50 new features. This tractor comes with the JD18 engine, which is John Deere's most advanced engine with 18-liter displacement for pure power and torque. It offers three different power levels, ranging from 710 up to 830 HP. Hydraulic IPM is also available as an option, adding additional 40 horses for demanding hydraulic applications. The fuel tank filler is conveniently located so that you can reach it from the ground without climbing up the stairs for refilling it. If you go for the optional fast fill, then you can fill up the tank in less than four minutes. One thing you won't find on that tractor is a filler for diesel exhaust fluid. And that's a big advantage over other brands. At the front is a new chin strip weight. This, the new car structure frame and other ballast options are part of a package that's designed to handle the largest loads even on the most challenging terrain. But all this extra weight doesn't increase soil compaction. The new tracks are longer and their larger footprint produces a similar ground pressure as the existing Niner X models. With a narrow track option at 88 inch spacing, the width is also still under 3 meters, complying with the European road requirements. Getting all this power to the ground is the new E21 power shift transmission. It's extremely durable with efficient mechanical power transfer. The higher number of gears are closely spaced so that you can always set the right speed for the work you are doing, almost like with a stepless transmission. There's also a huge amount of hydraulic power. The system can have three pumps, producing a market-leading output of 636 liter per minute. Let's take a look at the redesigned Command View 4 Plus cap. There's more floor space and better all-round visibility, particularly here to the front and right-hand side. What's harder to demonstrate is just how quiet the cap is. The cap suspension has three degrees of freedom, a shock absorber in each corner, and is modeled on the Adar X, which has had a lot of positive customer feedback. For those familiar with our latest cap, these models share all the same precision egg functionality. Integrated Starfire receiver, a G5 Plus high-definition display with advanced licenses and, of course, JD-Link connectivity. 
There's much more to tell you about this new tractor and we will release a new, more detailed walk around in a few weeks time. But for now, it's back to Markus at the Commodity Classics. Thanks, Michael. And don't forget to follow us on YouTube to watch the full walk around when it is released. I'm now joined by Chad Plady. Chad is future product manager for the new Niner X. Chad, you've been in the development process from the beginning. Can you shed light on why we have a complete new design with the new Niner X? We knew we were going to these new power levels, introducing torque. Even the smallest 9RX 710 model delivers 3,600 newton meters of torque. We also knew that we had limitations with our current design, so we felt it was best to go to this structural backbone. What's special on the new structural frame design? First of all, it can handle that new power and torque that I just mentioned, but also allowed us to do things like bringing the fuel tanks back to the center of the tractor, allowing filling of the fuel tanks from the ground uh, much easier and bringing accessibility to other components on the tractor. Thank you very much. Great insights. Brian, yeah. the phase of the European market communication driving the machines for the large fields of Montana. How does it feel to run such a powerful machine in the field? Well, it's been a blast to get this thing out there with our customers and their fields and see it do things that they have never been able to do before. Even though it has all that power, it really doesn't feel like a huge machine when you're up there in the cab. For you personally, what are the two cab features that stand out the most? The first thing you'll notice is when you get in that cab, you can see so much more than you have been able to before. There's 20% more visibility out the right-hand side and it's spacious. There's 15% more floor space, so you can easily turn around and see those large implements that you'd be pulling with this tractor. The second is around our tech. Everything's integrated with this tractor. We have our G5 Plus command arm, and that brings in our Starfire 7500, and with the G5 Advanced License, you can get features like auto track turn automation as well. So, in a nutshell, power, strength, and precision from the outside, and inside the cab, living room atmosphere? That's right. Our customers are going to love this tractor out in the field. Thank you very much. Great introduction. I'm going to head over to Jonathan. All right. Have a good one. That's all we've got time for today. But you'll be hearing more news about these amazing new products in the coming weeks and months. And don't forget to join us on social media for the rest of our road trip as we are visiting the factories where the new S7 and the new 9RX are being built. Thank you for watching. See you soon.